Hi everyone. Today the topic is Chemical Engineering Thermodynamics Basic Concepts Part 3. So first thing we are going to discuss about reversible and irreversible process. So first one is reversible process. A process is reversible when its direction can be reversed at any point by an infinitesimal change in external conditions. So for this the example is expansion of gases. So you can see when a process takes place, if we are able to reverse that process again, then that process is reversible process. Second one is irreversible process. So an irreversible process is one in which the system and its surroundings do not revert to their original state after the process has been started. So for that the example is fuel in the engine. So any process which can't be reversed once it is done then that process is a reversible process. So fuel in the engine you can see so when one once you burn the fuel in the engine it will not revert to the original position. So that process is an irreversible process. So here you can see the major differences between reversible process and irreversible process. So the same thing, so which can be reversed it is reversible process, which can't be reversed it is an irreversible process. So in this reversible process infinite changes occur in the system but in irreversible process finite changes takes place in the system. In reversible process there is an equilibrium between the initial state and the final state of the system. In irreversible process, there is no equilibrium in the system. So these are the major differences between reversible and irreversible process. Next one is, we will see about isothermal, isochoric, isoboric and adiabatic process. So first one is isothermal process. So the name itself indicates isothermal. So iso means same, thermal means heat or temperature. So the process in which temperature of the system remains constant at each stage of the process, that process is isothermal process. That is dt or delta t is equal to 0. So for the entire process, the temperature will be the same. So example is boiling of water or we can say reactions in a refrigerator. So if you take a refrigerator, the temperature will be almost maintained the same in the entire refrigerator. Next one is isochoric process. So the same thing, the process which is carried out at constant volume is called isochoric process. So that is a volume will be same. So that is dV or delta V is equal to 0. So for this the example is heating of a gas in a closed cylinder is an example of isochoric process. So in a closed cylinder if you heat the gas the volume will be remaining the same. So that process is isochoric process. Next one is isoboric process. So the process which takes place at constant pressure is called an isoboric process. So boric indicates pressure. So dp or delta p is equal to 0. That process is isoboric process. So for that the examples are hot air balloon and heating of water in an open vessel. So if you maintain the heating of water in an open vessel, it will be maintaining constant pressure. Similarly, hot air balloon also. Next one is adiabatic process. The process in which there will be no exchange of heat takes place between system and surroundings. So there will be no exchange between system and surroundings. There is no exchange of heat. That is dq is equal to 0. 
so that process is adiabatic process in thermodynamics we use mostly in most of the problems we will see adiabatic process so further the examples are nozzles compressors and turbines and ice box is also another example of adiabatic process so we are representing these four processes in a diagram that is isoboric isochoric adiabatic and isothermal process so you can see different variations of heating the water in a vessel so depending upon the variations we have isoboric that is a constant so here con constant pressure that is isoboric process the heating of water in an vessel with a with the lid opening so that is constant pressure maintenance so that is isoboric process so heating of the vessel in a closed vessel so here we get constant volume process similarly isothermal it's completely open vessel that is a constant temperature process maintaining the temperature so that is a constant temperature process and adiabatic process for this the piston cylinder arrangement is a closed cylinder so in that there will be no heat transfer there is a adiabatic process next one is a cyclic process in cyclic process the system in a given stage goes through a series of different process but in the end it returns to its initial state so the system can undergo a different process but finally it should returns to the first stage so that is cyclic process further the examples are carnot engine and air conditioner is also one of the example of this cyclic process so this can be represented on a pressure versus volume diagram like this so this is a cyclic process means that the work done so it can undergo different different variations but finally it should return to its initial state ultimately it should reach its initial state that is the cyclic process so many of the thermodynamic process are cyclic process so this is the today's explanation if you like my video please subscribe my channel please like share and comment my videos thank you very much